It's a beautiful day in Tucson, Arizona. Here we are in the first week of May, still of 2019. And uh, we're in a, a locker, one of my lockers, which is gathering boxes, numbered boxes of books so that I can find them when I ship them. Because what happens is people are ordering these from my site at augustbooks.com and from biblio.com. And I just need to find where the books are. So rather than have them in a huge amount of shelves and bookcases and stuff, I decided to put them in some boxes. So this is the second in the series. Let's just see how it goes and whether this is as fun for, for you as it is for me. And we'll see what is possible here. This is my box number 23. You can order it by the box you saw it in or let me know. Let me know. And, uh, I can help or you can just look up individual books on my database at, at augustbooks.com So this one these books were put away a while ago like six months ago or longer Listen comrades by El Campesino hmm. a horrifying account of life and death in the Soviet Union. It's an ace book It goes back to the either the 50s or the 60s but uh, You know Stalin was not our friend, you know Stalin and his henchmen were a great evil. And they decimated my family, that's for sure, back in Eastern Europe. Here is a book called The Blessed Bees. Now, this particular book was, um, was published in 1879 at Putnam's in New York. The Blessed Bees by John Allen. And it's not definite. It's definitely not in perfect shape, but it's all about the subject of aviculture. Is that what it is, aviculture? So, uh, you know, just a handsome little book there. I think this one is like in the. T it could be as much as two hundred dollars. I'm not sure. I have to look on the database. There's no other copies just like it out there. And here's a John Steinbeck in the Collier edition of Mice and Men. Man, were they ever slinging of Mice and Men at the high school students uh, over a couple of generations. You know, everybody has to read of Mice and Men. Uh, was, how do you feel about this guy having to shoot his uh, mentally disabled buddy because he uh, strangled a girl? It's a, it's, it's a tough question that has yet to be answered, I guess. Oh, look at this. This is a beauty. Duck for, doc, oh, I'm sorry, doctor, doctor, that's a T. That's a weird looking T. Dr. Rameau by Georges Onef, huh? And um, I believe this is a novel. I don't think that this is a biography per se. By Rand McNally. Well, we can maybe get into that a little bit more. And essays and addresses on the philosophy of religion by the Baron Friedrich von Hügel. Hügel. There's an umlaut on top of that H, on top of that U, I mean, second series. I don't know, but it's, a, it's got the dust jacket that adds to its authenticity, huh? What do we got here? London, Methuen and Company. Okay. Just some oldies but goodies in here. But then again, what is this? North to the Horizon. Arctic Doctor and Hunter. Uh, 1913 to 1917, so he was an Arctic hunter. Harrison J. Hunt, M.D., and Ruth Hunt up Thompson. I wonder who the doctor was in the family. Is this one illustrated, perhaps? Oh, it's in the form of a diary, huh? I, wouldn't, I would say that is un... Um, it does not have exactly a flourish of illustrations in it, but there's a couple Arctic maps and stuff in there that you might like. Crystallography, crystallography, and crystal chemistry in introduction. I, introduction. I think they're still using this book in college uh, campuses. Oh, boy, if I open a book, I should have something to show you. This is just silly. Okay, so it's like a really good uh, academic thing on crystals, crystal structures. Things you can make out of crystals and stuff. Maybe the world is made out of crystals. And crystallography is next to godliness. Some letters from Livingston. 
Livingston. Okay, so this is a, one of several books, four or five books I think I got, which have to do with uh, Africa, the African experience, uh, Africans, and also uh, European explorers and adventurers. Oh, man, I, I wanted to show you the pictures. <laughs> oh, there's Livingston right there. David Livingston. Dr. Livingston, I presume, sitting out in the jungle gloom. And this was published by Negro University Press in New York. So the books from Negro University Press have an additional value to them because of, um, you know, the African Americans who were associated with this and the work that, that this company was doing to help uh, to better the education of African Americans. Social Sciences as Sorcery. You believe that? By Stanislav Andreski. Social Sciences as Sorcery. Hey, look this up because uh, this book does appear as, um, as a, almost one of a kind book on uh, sociology. I have sociology, I have anthropology, I have geology, I have geography. The Black Journey by Hart, H-A-A-R-D-T. I wonder if this is another book by that was, that was imprinted by the Negro University. There it is, Negro University's Press. The Black Journey across Central Africa with the Citroen Expedition. The Citroen Expedition? You mean they took Citroen automobiles across Africa? Like, could have been, I guess, huh? Here's a table of here's a table of illustrations. So at least this book has some illustrations. You can take a look at um, some ethnic and uh, other, you know, things about the terrain that they crossed and the the lives of the natives that they encountered. I personally don't know much about the Citroen expedition, but kind of interesting. Well, at some point in the future, I'm going to try to have prices for you as you look at these videos. But right now, all I can say is if you go to edaugustsbooks.com, you'll find... That's Augusts with an S on the end. What is this one called? Christian Zen. Okay, so you know what? If the um, Asians can have Zen, Zen Buddhism and stuff, so can Americans. So can, you know, everybody. On Safari by Waltek. Uh... Wow, that's a big, huge banner for the Tucson Public Library, isn't it? The business of exploring, what it takes in personal equipment, knowledge, and skill, the adventures of a famous explorer. Okay. And here's a, the largest book in the box is The Collected Writings of Ambrose Bierce. Ambrose Bierce was a comic writer. He wrote The Devil's Dictionary, Dictionary Fantastic Fables of All Kind, The Monk and the Hangman's Daughter. Well, he went down to Mexico in the first decades of the 20th century as a journalist, and he wanted to talk to Pancho Villa, and uh, he was never seen again. Uh, Ambrose Bierce, not Pancho Villa. So there's a statue to him in downtown Tucson. Oh, pardon me, it's not a statue to Ambrose Bierce, it's a statue to Pancho Villa. Precipitous City, the story of literary Edinburgh. So that... It kind of seems interesting, huh? Don't you think that looks interesting? And finally, last but not least, The Orientalist, Solving the Mystery of a Strange and Dangerous Life. So this man right here, uh, who was an ethnic, I forget what he was, he uh, went throughout uh, the Middle East and uh, Palestine at the time, and as though he was from this other ethnic group, and then he came back to Europe and he palled it up with uh, people, including people in Germany that were in the, uh, what shall we call those people, the really, really bad party, the really, really bad people in Germany in the 1930s and 40s. And anyway, he was, I think he was eventually found out to be a, uh, a scam, a scammer and a liar and whatever, and then maybe things started to go bad for him. But a lot of adventure, a lot of color and stuff, so uh, have a look on uh, biblio.com or on edaugustsbooks.com. This is just books 20, box 23, and I have about, uh, well, I guess it's 75 or something now, boxes. And I have 10,000 books that are that I'm still going to be sorting through because I, I've had 
three, maybe four bookstores, a couple internet bookstores in the last, you know, 20 years, 25 years. And uh, I just want to get these organized and hopefully, listen, comrades, listen to my message, and hopefully get them out there for all to, uh, to love. I, and, uh, you know, if you're seeing this video six months from now, uh, a year from now, I'm going to still have a lot of these books. These books are not fast sellers. They're not really going anywhere in a, in a big hurry. So uh, I'll see you then. Thanks so much for looking in. Remember, I have astrology, tarot, uh, you know, old books, and uh, all kinds of other goodies to offer. So talk to you soon. Bye now.